friends welcome to csop space today in this video session we will discuss how to create multiple drag and drop file upload in asp.net mvc using jquery so let's start we open our visual studio and click on a new project and here we create a sp.net mvc for web application and here we rename our project and then click to ok now here we select a empty template and view engine as a razor so click on ok now it's creating a project my project is created so we go on a uh, solution explorer and uh, here we create uh, one new folder for script we rename as a uh, scripts and uh, add some more files for drag and drop zone in this tutorial we use a drop zone jquery library so I add a drop zone mean dot js and a drop zone dot mean css. So here I paste it and then I add a new controller. So I rename it as a home controller and click on a OK. add buttons. Now it's adding a controller for this project. Now the controller is added. Now in this step, now we add a view for this action result. click on add view now it's showing a pop-up then click on add buttons so firstly we need to add these libraries one one for is a js drop zone dot mean dot js and uh, this for CSS and here we create a UI Oops, it UID it is equal to here right here any meaningful name like uh, my drop and it's a form yeah, I create action action method for uploading a uh, file so i name as a upload that function we create into this controller and i add here a class drop zone it's a class drop zone and it's id it is a drop zone Form. here we add any background color any background colors we here select like a green now this form is created now we go to our controller and here we create a action result method for uploading a file public x and result and here we take a bool as a file is uploaded or not so it's a file saved successfully is equal to so by default we take it 
row and uh, string name for file name Take, take a try cache block and then take a v take a for each loop for each take a string file name and here we take a collections collection name it's a request dot file and it's a http post it file base is a uh, create object for this file request dot files and here we take a file name and then we set a name for into this variables file dot file name If we create a conditions if file is not equal to null and uh, file dot content length is greater than zero means it's contain a file showing some errors we check it it's greater than not greater than equal to and take where variables as a path equal to path we add new name space this is system dot io we add here using System.io now path is saying path dot to combine it's a server server dot map path map path and here we create a folders for saving an image in a folder so I create here a folder for this like uh, upload img and here we pass that URL and a string path string we take one more variable it's equal to system path dot combine it's a path dot to string and it's a file name one see we change their names pick up gid dot new gid plus path dot uh, get extension we find the extension path dot get extension and here we pass the file name file dot file name 
and we check a bull it is exist it says directory dot exist so path string we check that directories is exist or not if if is not exist then directory dot create directory and here we path a string path string and the string upload path is a path for saving that url into database so upload path equal to string dot format zero and it's one and then provide their expected urls and it's a file name one then save that file file dot save as upload path now we go to catch sections if any error is occurred then it saved it saved successfully is false means uh, any error occurred and we, here we so a message if if it's saved successfully then it's so a message return json it's a new new messages it's mm, here we so a message for this is a file name else if uh, any error is occurred so it's a return return json and it's new we remove this object and it's a message is equal to error in saving file now we save this now we save all this code now we check any error is missing so i remove this 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 is the path for first first path for this zero and uh, this file name is for this so this create the float path string for this and we save that path to this folder so now we need to run this project view in browser and 
now we click on this and choose any image it's now saved and if any other image that image also saved now we check on that folder so all these images are saved in this upload img folders so see so all these the code this for uh, this method for uploading the files on on the behalf of this view when we choose a file and then that files is posted to this action method and this is the logic for to save a image into upload img folders this is the two two dob zones files so thanks for watching if you have any questions related to this topic please write it in the comment box and uh, if you like my videos please click on the subscribe button and click on a like button so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in the next video session bye bye